Speed. I've always loved the feeling of speed. I also love prototyping things, so why not combine the two? Thing is, prototyping for me looks something like this. So, I want to prototype fast. I want to prototype rapidly. You know what I mean? What I just did there is not going to help me do that. You think you can prototype rapidly, as you put it? I mean, honestly, come on, look at you. You think very slowly, unlike me. Um, well, I think... I don't care what you have to say. And honestly, I don't have the patience to wait around to hear what you have to say. Okay, well, that was a one-sided conversation. So, fortunately, my printer has the potential to be very fast. Unfortunately, I am not very fast at CAD, which is computer-aided design, until now. So, I realize that I CAD pretty slowly because I think about and doubt every little decision to make it just right. But to counteract that, I just think about this mantra, which is... You must not fear. Or fear is the mind killer. So, I tried that. Uh, after coming up with an idea to design, of course. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More on them later. So here's the idea. Uh, I have some desk space right here, and there are quite a few items. I'm going to design something to like tidy this space up. Something simple with good aesthetics. This is good because it's not like a whole project that I have to work on, but it's not as simple as like a cube, like this thing. Okay, so uh, we're in the CAD software right now. I have a timer up here just to see how fast I can like make this thing. Yeah, I guess we could get started. I'm just gonna start the timer here. So apparently, we're gonna need a box. It's like uh, drawing in Microsoft Paint with uh, the shape tool. I'm just gonna make this thing like down here. And how wide do I want this to be? Uh, 80 centimeters. No, not, um, eight centimeters. So 80 millimeters. Sure, why not? Um, 120. Sure. So close this. How, how long do I want this? 80, why not? Millimeters. Okay. What I need to do now is, well, mark the outside lines, right? Mark the outside lines so that we have a reference for our drawing that we're basically drawing on top of this little surface here. So I'm gonna do that. Um, essentially, I'm gonna make this like, you know, sure, two millimeters thick. Probably not good. But hey, it's rapid prototyping, right? We could just make it as structurally not sound as possible. So why am I doing this? Well, it is essentially to split it up into little compartments, I guess. Oh, maybe it didn't connect. Let me just redo that real quick. Um, one, one, six, and we want a third of that. So let me just pull up this calculator here. So 38 and a bunch of sixes. Okay, it's a lot of lines. But I mean, that's all that CAD is, a bunch of lines that come together, they make planes, and then they intersect, and then they make volumes, and then you cut volumes out, and, you know. I'm not the most poetic, I know. One millimeter from the center for each line, so I'm just going to do that. And that, five minutes, that's kind of long. Uh, this, but we're almost done. It's going to look horrible but we're almost done. I'm just gonna cut this out. So now, when we cut this out, we have individual little, you know, rectangles. Construction lines just there to construct. I know, I'm a genius. I make sense of everything. Let's see, this sketch, can I, yes, okay. So the other thing, actually, I need to cut away. And there we go, we have our little, very unesthetically looking um, shelf. Okay, very nice. There we go. And look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? When we break our printer, I'm just gonna do the normal PLA. We're gonna be printing in PLA. That's like the fastest filament. Uh, an hour and a half total. Just to see what the quality and the speed is like. Okay, so it's going pretty fast right now. And uh, believe it or not, that is actually a standard setting, um, which I, I essentially took the standard setting from Bamboo Labs, a company that makes these printers and um, just modified it a little bit. So yeah, this is uh, standard speed. I'm curious to see what real speed 
would look like. And I should have put in a brim. So, it finished. Honestly, this looks very, very smooth. Oh, did you look at that. Just comes right off. Uh, but yeah, the standard print settings, uh, an hour and a half, not too bad. <sighs> now we gotta somehow make this print like three times faster at basically the same quality, somehow. So yeah, this is basically how it's gonna work. Uh, I would have like my phone and some other stuff as well over there. Yeah, I just put it like that. Would it fit? Yes, it would. But now, on to the speed. Now we're gonna do the rapid prototype settings, except we're gonna slow down this part. The pink is essentially showing that it's gonna go at 100 millimeters a second instead of uh, 600, which is the outer wall. We want the outer wall to look pretty nice. <laughs> My goodness. I would not stick my hand in there. 44 seconds left. <laughs> or uh, minutes left. It's already some uh, stuff going on there. So, it looks pretty bad. But not as bad as I expected. Very nice. I mean, honestly, you could use this. It's usable. Um, it's smooth somehow in the straight areas. Well, I mean, if it's going straight, it's fine. But it's like horrendous at, at the corners. Okay, so let's try and uh, improve like speed and quality. So now it's around 57. It's a bit slower. I just decreased the acceleration to its normal amounts. And also, max volumetric speed, I kind of set to a ridiculous number. So of course the quality is going to go down. Let me slice it now. It should be about an hour and three minutes, okay. But an hour is, um, you know, kind of long. So we can have less layers. We can have less um, layers again. What if we have no infill? Well, let's just see. Let's just see what it is. 42 minutes. That's actually a good amount better. Because I'm just curious to see uh, just the raw speed of this. I am going to break this machine one day. After this, I promise, we're gonna have a blend of quality and speed. 35 minutes. Okay, yeah, that's better. So similar to before, um, obviously it's not gonna look very good. Actually, it looks kinda, kinda even worse. Okay guys, I present to you Spaghetti. Oh, okay, so it's not even the same piece. Oh, oh, well, that's interesting. You kind of see the internals, internal wall, because there's no gap in fill. There's a bulge here as well. Oh. And then, of course, we have the 3D printer's uh, common piece of material, which is spaghetti. Fortunately for us, PCB Way keeps its quality in service while having good shipping times. So that if you want to prototype something, but you don't have a 3D printer, you can have them print it for you and have it shipped to you in no time. And if you need metal parts made, they can do that as well. Want to prototype your electronic board design, but don't have multi-hundred thousand dollar equipment to make it? Don't worry, PCB Way's got you covered. I personally use their services and well, they delivered five of these actually. They actually do five at a time in case you break four of them. I definitely do not make any mistakes. And also I might use their CNC metal milling services in the future because I am not buying a CNC mill myself. That's for sure. All right, so back to trying to make our prints not look like uh, spaghetti. Sorry to any Italians out there, probably butchered the pronunciation. Anyways, what I'm thinking about doing is essentially to decrease the speed limit, the max volumetric speed, and then also decrease the temperature because we don't need it to heat up that quickly because we're not going that fast. The speed that it's going is pretty good, and as you can see, there's no infill, which allows us to print a good amount faster. Got this here. Oh, and that's pretty easy. And yeah, actually, the first try of trying to achieve better quality with speed is actually 
pretty successful. This look pretty cool though. It's like you could actually see how the walls are, you know, close to each other. It's pretty flexible. I mean, for something like this, it doesn't really matter. So I can prototype fairly fast and it only took me a couple of hours to develop the process. I guess raw speed isn't everything when you sacrifice some quality and accuracy. Come to think of it, even though I think slowly, um, it's sort of a strength instead of a weakness because I can think more accurately, more deeply, and more creatively. I guess I gained a lot more than just a prototyping process from all of this. Pushing myself speed-wise is pretty cool, but what about pushing my skills? Well, I put my skills and my 3D printer through the ringer by chasing the perfect 3D printed spring in this video.